you guys, this is Miss Harrington again, and we are going to go over the answers to your commas practice number two when using commas with introductory elements. Now remember, introductory elements could be words like yes or no words, or maybe even an interjection that is showing a mild or weak emotion. They might be a phrase like the sentence begins with a prepositional phrase, or the sentence could be a complex sentence. And the first part of that complex sentence may be a dependent clause. So we're going to go through the answers to this practice numbers one through 13. So with the directions, it asks you to underline the introductory element in each of the following sentences, then place a comma where necessary. So let's start with number one. Yes, I'm aware of increased global temperature. Well, I know that yes and no can be used as an introductory element. So I know that yes is my introductory element. So I'm going to put a comma behind yes after underlining it. Looking at number two, in his senior year of college, Richard decided to become a lawyer. Well, I know that in is a preposition, which tells me that in his senior year of college is going to be a prepositional phrase. So I'm going to underline that phrase and put a comma behind the phrase. Number three, well, isn't gastro, gastroenterology the branch of medicine focused on the digestive system and its disorders? In this sentence, well is being used as an interjection and it's showing a mild emotion. So I'm going to underline the interjection and put a comma behind it. Number four, after he set his goals, he worked day and night to accomplish them. After is a preposition, so I know there's a prepositional phrase. So my phrase would be after he set his goals and then put a comma behind goals. Number five, even though Erica didn't study much, she still managed to score an A plus. Well, even though I know can be used as a subordinating conjunction, which tells me that this sentence is complex, so I've got to locate my dependent clause. So my dependent clause is going to be even though Erica didn't study much. So I'm going to underline that dependent clause and put a comma behind it. Number six. I'm sorry, I was about to read number seven. Number six. Toward the back of the cupboard, Jillian found her lost wedding ring. Well, toward can be used as a preposition. So I know that there's a prepositional phrase. So I'm going to underline my prepositional phrase toward the back of the cupboard, and I'm going to put a comma behind cupboard. Looking at number seven, walking towards the school, Martin realized that he didn't bring his science notebook. Walking towards the school can be used as a dependent clause because it's not necessary for the main clause of the sentence, the independent clause. So I'm going to underline that dependent clause and I'm going to put a comma behind school. Number eight. Seriously, are we really visiting Yellowstone National Park this summer? Seriously is being used as an interjection, meaning it's used, it's being used to show a mild emotion. So I'm going to underline that interjection and put a comma behind it. Number nine, planning her career, Dr. Kendra always knew that she wanted to work with newborns. In this sentence, planning her career could be used as a dependent clause because it's not necessary for the rest of the sentence for the main clause or independent clause. So I'm going to underline that dependent clause and put a comma behind career. Number 10. When Renee was ready to make an omelet, she couldn't find any eggs in the fridge. Well, again, in this sentence, I have another dependent clause when Renee was ready to make an omelet, because I don't need that part of the sentence for my main or independent clause to make sense. So I'm going to underline that dependent clause and put a comma behind omelet. Number 11, if you're not feeling well, you should call your mom and you're, I'm sorry, let me reread that. If you're not feeling well, you should call your mom to take you back home. 
So in this sentence, I have another dependent clause. If you're not feeling well, again, it's not necessary for the rest of the sentence for our independent clause. So I'm gonna underline if you're not feeling well and put a comma behind well. Number 12, because Carson didn't get up on time, he received a tardy today at school. Well, because I know can be used as a subordinating conjunction, which means we have another dependent clause here. So my dependent clause would be because Carson didn't get up on time and I'm gonna put a comma behind time. And the last one, number 13. By the time Javier reached the park, the team was already done with the warm up. In this sentence, I see that there's a prepositional phrase. So I'm gonna underline by the time Javier reached the park and I'm gonna put a comma behind the word 